After Mike Stone is enjoying a patty melt uh, <laughs> on the bench during the fourth inning of the game. They probably don't have the, the food in the clubhouse like they do in, in, in major leagues. Why? But then why do they have it in the dugout? I, 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 I don't know. Wherever the sideline reporter is, the ESPN on-field reporter, I need her to do an okay. in-game report on all the food in the dugout. See, Juwan Howard was there and, and Hutch and all that. Hutch was there. Yeah. So we had the, the men's basketball coach there. Mm -hmm. Although like, he's not going to be there tonight, I guess. He's got a camp, but he might be back for Friday, for Wednesday if there is a game three. Uh, uh, the, the women's softball coach was there. The women's basketball coach was there. Right. Um, there was one other coach I read was there, and obviously Ward Manuel was there. Yes. There has been a tweet. There's Harbaugh. There's Harbaugh. There's, there's, there, they had kids signing yesterday. They are, are committing yesterday. They're still recruiting, I guess. I'm sure, I'm sure Juwan's still recruiting. No, but yesterday, we, this weekend, they had the uh, a lot of visits to the people. Anyway, but oh, he, so he couldn't have gotten a plane yesterday? I don't know. There was it's, it's unacceptable that he doesn't support the Coming up today at 2.35, yeah. where's Harbaugh? But hold on. He finally has tweeted about it. Oh, he's tweeted before about it. Or he actually retweeted He retweets somebody. stuff, but here he has it. And I, I don't understand this, but so happy. Us very proud. Go blue. <laughs> like Us very proud. Sounds like a caveman. <laughs> So happy. That's very proud. Go blue. Maybe you're misinterpreting it. Maybe he's saying the United States is very proud well, because Michigan is America's team. Well, it's capital U, small s. Yeah, but it could just be a typo. It could be. You're right. Yeah. It's right in line with his offense. <laughs> Prehistoric. <laughs> pre gaddis Yeah. So that was kind of weird. Interesting. Uh, although, we, we did mention that uh, Riley Green, the Tigers' uh, number one draft choice, had his professional debut yesterday in Lakeland Rookie League Ball. Oh. Four for five, two home runs, including a grand slam. Bring it up! Oh! oh. But us, us happy. Yes. I, I, I've heard people who know baseball a lot more than I do describe what rookie ball is like. Did you see the clip of his first home run? You couldn't see the foul of the ball. But no, no, but it looked like he was playing on a high school field. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's Tiger Town. No, I know, I know, but it's like, it's, it's, there's, you know, I mean, it, yes, to be drafted first, you signed a million dollar contract, all that. Man, you gotta work your butt off to get to oh, it, yeah. it, is, it, it. It is a, such a non-glamorous life, um, and I, so you think about the guys who go, like a guy like Ryan Carpenter, who just spends his year shuttling back and forth. You get a taste of the big leagues, and then you're right back down to the minors. Yeah, you know, I mean, I almost feel like I don't know this for a fact, but just like the the, the the rookie ball, do they like wear those baseball backpacks out onto the field with their bats and stuff? I know, I know. It just seems so unglamorous. Do they get box lunches? I don't even think they get the box lunches like the uh, college players do. They get the uh, Capri Sun, right? <laughs> yes, they get and orange slices. Yes, exactly. And they get snacks after the game. <laughs> exactly. By the way, one other thing last night I, I didn't watch, but they had, the NBA had the, uh, their award show. And I reading about it, I heard it was awful. Shaq was the host. A lot of really top players like weren't there. Even though Harden, I, he was obviously told he didn't win. He was like in China somewhere doing s some appearance. A lot of the great players weren't there. However, it was kind of weird. Uh, Giannis won the MVP. Uh, Rudy Gobert won Defensive Player of the Year. Siakam won the uh, Most Improved Player. And uh, Luka Doncic won the uh, Rookie of the Year. Four major awards won by players who were born outside the United States of America, Jamie. And did you know that uh, it's, it's only the second time the Rookie of the Year and the MVP were born outside of the United States in the same season? It's only the how many? Twice. So, Dirk? No. I don't know who the MVP was in that year. Same, same No, year. I'm saying was it with the year Dirk won the MVP? No, no. Hakeem? No. Uh, Outside the 50 United States. Oh, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan oh. and Paul Gasol. Ah. Last time. Gotcha. Yes. And Gobert uh, is the second Utah Jazz player to win Defensive Player of the Year. The Jazz becoming just the second team to have multiple Defensive Player of the Years. Mm. The other being? I don't know. The Pistons. Oh. And Wallace and Dennis Rodman. Ah, gotcha. Mark Eaton was the other Utah Jazz player. The, um, the Houston Rockets, in a very classy gesture after Giannis won the MVP, went on Twitter and let, let go a series of tweets about how um, James Harden should have won the MVP. Did they really? Oh, yeah. They said, congratulations to Giannis, but we uh, we uh, disagree. And they've listed off all these stats that James Harden accomplished as a result. You know yeah. what? It was all class. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. Stay classy, Houston. Yeah, stay classy, Houston. They have a disastrous year. They lose in the second round of the playoffs. They're obviously kind of breaking apart at the seams. And then they put out three tweets uh, lauding uh, James Harden. So it's almost like they're trying to suck up to Harden. It sounds like.
by something like the Warriors might do with the Rams right now. But, but Harden's not a free agent. So. All right, 7 o'clock. Uh, Heather has news coming up next. And then at 725, it's the two grand slam. And uh, I would g be close to your phones and get on the horn. Because I've looked at it, Stoney. I, I, I think the bar might be 10. I think the bar, I'm predicting Stoney's bar. It might be 10. Right now, it's time for a sports update with T.O. on 97.1 The Ticket. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. A radio.com sports station. Sports headlines. All day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by Sarah Buick GMC. The Tigers look to pick up just their sixth win in the last 20 games as they square off against the Texas Rangers tonight in the start of a three-game midweek series at Comerica Park. Jordan Zimmerman, winless on the year, gets to start for Detroit this evening. Jesse Chavez will get to start for Texas. You can hear the game right here on the ticket. First pitch at 7-10. Home runs from Jimmy Kerr and Joe Donovan help propel Michigan to a 7-4 win over Vanderbilt in last night's opening game of the College World Series Finals in Omaha. There's Commodore's head coach Tim Corbin afterwards on the game one loss. Well, I, I think the difference was certainly Tommy Henry. I mean, their aggressiveness offensively, but... You have to give that kid a lot of credit. He threw a lot of strikes. He minimized damage when he had to. When he found himself in a little bit of trouble, he was was able to negate our offense. He did a really good job. Game two of that best of three series takes place tonight. First pitch at seven. Team USA advances to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup of Soccer thanks to a 2-1 to -one win over Spain yesterday in the round of 16. Next up for the U.S., a showdown Friday against the host country, France, a matchup that co-captain Megan Rapinoe says is a game she's been looking forward to for a long, long time. It's going to be a huge match, obviously. Um, you know, for me, they're, they're obviously one of the favorites, being host nation, being the team that they are. We're clearly one of the favorites, so let's go. Rapinoe led the U.S. to yesterday's victory over Spain with a pair of goals on penalty kicks. The Milwaukee Bucks' Giannis Antetokounmpo was named the NBA's most valuable player at the league's annual award show last night in Los Angeles. Angeles. Antetokounmpo becomes the first Milwaukee Buck to win the MVP award since 1974 when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar took home that honor. From the Ticket Update Desk, I'm Tony Ortiz. For more, go to 971theticket.com. Thanks, Tony. 703, it is the Jamie and Stoney Show, 971 The Ticket. Great weather forecast for today. Sunny skies, pleasant, high of 83 degrees. Good night for Tiger Baseball as the Tigers are back downtown taking on the Texas Rangers. It is time for news with Heather Park. What's up, Heather? Well, Chicago police just released basically a boatload of evidence in the Jesse Smollett investigation. And it included some moments officers actually arrived at his apartment after receiving a 911 call about the alleged attack. So there's some body cam footage, and it shows that Smollett still had a noose around his neck about 40 minutes after his alleged attack and in the video